scared of updating data in large size Excel file? What if you could update existing data in Excel file and that too without even opening it? Let me show you a simple VBA trick that makes it possible. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In the last video, I showed you how to read data from a closed Excel file without even opening it. And today, we are taking it a step further and I am going to show you how you can actually update existing data inside a closed Excel file and that too without even opening it. This is a super useful trick if you want to automate updates, save time and even work more efficiently with larger data set. I will walk you through everything from setting up the connection to writing the update query and of course we'll test it live. So stick around and let's dive straight into it. So here is our source file which we have used to read data from this file without opening. Let me open this file and show you the data set. This file contains associate details like ID, associate name, department and salary. We'll try to update existing records in this file without opening it. Let's close this file and we'll jump into the code. So this is the code we wrote in the last video and if you have not watched my last video I will recommend to watch the first video as I have explained everything about ADO, what is ADO and how it will be useful in fetching the data from the closed excel file. I will provide the link in the description below. So let's take a copy of this code and we'll paste in the same module here and we'll rename this to update existing data in closed file and we'll go through the each step and we'll make changes accordingly. So here in this code the first step we are clearing the existing data. So as we are just updating the data in a closed excel file so this step is not required for us. So we'll remove this line. Then next we have to define the file path and the sheet name. So we are using exact same file which we have used in our last video and the same sheet name which is the sheet 1. Then next we will set the connection and we will open the connection. So I am using the same uh, connection string here which we have used in our last video. I will provide this connection string in the description box. Then next we have to create the SQL query. So here basically we have to create update SQL query here. So let's make some changes here to update the data back in the closed excel file. So to update we have to write the update and the table name basically it's our sheet name. Then next we have to use the set keyword here. So what we are going to do here is if you see our data we have associate id name department and salary. So what we will do, we are going to update the department for one of the associate here. So let's take for this associate, the department is RPA, right? Let's update this to RPA developer. So I will go back to the Visual Basic Editor and here I will type department equal to single quote RPA developer. So if you want to update any text, that text has to be enter between the single quotes right then next we have to give the where clause here so for which associate we want to update this rpa developer so for this associate and the unique id column is the associate id here right so for this associate associate id is one two three four five six so let's add that where clause here so where associate id equal to one two three four five six so this associate id is a numeric value so that's why i have not entered this number in single quote so basically what we are doing here is we are updating the department as rpa developer for this associate in this table so this query will update the department as rpa developer so next we no need this record set here. So we are not pulling any data here, right? 
we are just updating so we can execute this sql query directly so all this step related to the record set it's not required and even writing the header this is also not required and we are not fetching any data so this step is also not required here so all we have to do is just we have to execute execute update query and to execute sql query all we have to do is just type con dot execute space and give it a sql query here so which is the sql here right then next we'll just give a message here that data updated successfully so what we are doing here so we are defining the file path and sheet name then we are opening the connection next we are building the update sql query then we are just executing the update query then we are just giving the message back to the user then next we are closing the connection here so we are done with our code let's check if we have any error in this code or not by going into debug menu and select compile vba project here so there is no error in the code next let's go back to the excel file let's add a button here we'll go to the insert menu and i will select one of the shape and uh, we'll rename this to update data make this a center and just right click on this button and select assign macro and select the macro name which is update existing data in closed file and click ok so before we run the update query let's fetch the data what we have in our source file right so if, let's click on this fetch data button you can see for this associate the department is rpa now let's execute the update query by clicking on this update button so let me click on this so the data got updated and we got the pop-up message that data updated successfully we click ok now let's check whether the data is updated successfully or not in the source excel file so and to check that we can click on this fetch data button here now you can see the department got updated as rpa developer for this associate you can see how quickly we updated existing data in closed excel file now let's change the department back to rpa uh, for the same associate so we'll go back to the visual basic editor and we'll just mention here rpa for the same associate right so let's go back to the excel and click on update data here you can see data got updated successfully now click on fetch data button here to fetch the latest data from closed excel file now you can see the department is showing as a rpa here right now let's do one more update here if you see we have a department column and we have the salary column here right so let's update salary for this rpa department here so we'll update the salary as 50000 for this rpa department okay so let's go back to the visual basic editor all we have to do is we just have to update our sql query right so what we are going to update here we are going to update salary so set salary equal to so we'll remove this double quotes and we'll just enter 50000 here set salary equal to 50000 where the department equal to rpa so we'll enter rpa in single quote so if i go back to the excel file you can see in our source data we have a three records belongs to the rpa department right and each rpa record has their own salary here right now we are going to update salary as fifty thousand for this three rpa departments right so let's click on this update data button here so you can see the data got updated very quickly in the closed excel file right so just click ok and next click on this fetch data button to see the information back you can see for this rpa and for this rpa the salary got updated as 50000 so let me open the source file to show you so what data we have in the source file so let me make this minimize now you can see for this rpa the 50000 for this rpa the 50000 right and that's it now you know how to update any excel file without even opening it using excel vba and adio
If you found this helpful, make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment if you have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe for more Excel and VBA tips coming your way. In the next video, I will be showing how we can fetch the sheet names from the closed Excel file. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching.